nani mwingine anakuja There's a, a very, uh, of course, unfortunate case right now where in Hawaii with the terrible fires that we've seen. Um, this has been linked to the proliferation of some African grasses that have grown there and which are used to a different fire regime, meaning that they, they grow, they burn, they grow, they burn very quickly. And um, this, we think, has contributed, along with climate change and extreme weather, um, to the uh, horrendous fires that we saw. Almost every community has been impacted uh, one way or another um, with invasive alien species. Um, many of them are insects uh, and mammals, even fungi. Um, right now, the United States is dealing, for example, with a, um, a spread of the death cap mushroom, which is appropriately named because it can be actually deadly if consumed. Many local landscapes that we consider natural, in fact, are not, in the sense that alien species have populated them, and we've lived with them for years. Um, and in fact, many of us eat uh, species that are alien species every day, right? It's, it's quite difficult. It's, the problem is the level of invasion that's occurring um, and the significant impact that's having uh, on economies, on livelihoods, um, and even on culture. Um, this is not a new phenomenon, but what's new, um, much like climate change and, and, and other uh, threats to global uh, biodiversity in the biosphere, is the rate at which it's occurring. And this is truly troublesome for us. Um, our estimates are that if we continue along the, the lines that we have now, um, we'll see another 37% or so increase in invasive species um, by 2050.